Hello and welcome, John Croner with Bullseye Trader. And I'd like to welcome you to the Artificial Intelligence Holly and Market Update for Thursday, April the 4th, 2019. Well, let's take a look and see how these markets closed out today. And we can see that diamonds had a strong volume at 1.29%. You can see here on the volume bar how it's up from the past couple of days. Uh, you can see here a nice big fat green candle. Uh, you know, we gapped up and then we continued up. Uh, you know, we had a little minor pullback, which was no big deal. So a uh, very, very nice action from the diamonds, uh, you know, closed up. We continue this trek up. If we take a look at it, it's been, uh, you know, uh, looking very, very nice over the past uh, you know a week and a half or so here so very very nice on the diamonds uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the spiders and see how they're doing and uh, you can see here we do have a green day so uh, you know we we stopped for a little rest here we do have an inside bar formation uh, working but uh, you know so we're going to have to watch the high and low of yesterday's candle and whichever way it breaks out and closes tomorrow uh, should give us some direction on how we're going to go but uh, it's looking pretty good here we had this uh, you know uh, kind of a fake out pullback here and uh, once it got down here and shook a lot of people out then it took off again and uh, you know closed up for the day so uh, it was looking like it might be uh, down a uh, down day for a while but closed very very nice once again uh, low volume on that just 0.81 you can see the volume bar here how uh, low it is so looking very nice on the spiders today and we're going to move on to the cues and see how they did <clears throat> and you can see here we've got a another indecision candle another doji candle but it actually closed about seven cents less than yesterday so technically that is a red candle but uh you know uh, i'm going to pretty much call that dead flat okay and you know we uh you know you know had a lot of movement up and down but uh at the end of the day uh it went nowhere and you can see we had the average volume point nine six uh you can see the volume bar here and so uh just barely a red day but uh you know that that's how she ended up now let's move on to holly see how she did today holly grill segment 11 trades a risk off profit of 25 cents loss 25 cents loss risk on profit of two dollars well there's probably a nice trade in there somewhere let's see what we had here we had phun uh, so uh for the fun of it let's take a look here and see how that did that was a long trade she got out for a times exit and she made 15 or i'm sorry 17 cents had you held it to the end of the day you would have made 30 cents but if you look at that, you know, this, this stock, you know, had first gone up, you know, had this big uh, topping uh, wick here, and then it pulled back strong, and then Holly saw she was recovering, and she uh, called it out right there. So uh, very, very nice trade there. And uh, let's see what her best, uh, let me get this uh, thing to work for me here. There we go. Her best uh, risk on trade was AGN. Look at that, $1.59. And we talk about this a lot too. Too. Uh, she got in this trade she got out because of a profit save uh, and a dead even and then the trade took off and she made uh, uh, $1.59 so very very nice trade and just uh, looking at that that might be one you want to watch tomorrow I mean uh, by golly that's a nice looking stock there uh, you know went up and kind of consolidated here and now it looks like it might be ready to take off again so that could be interesting now on to holly 2.0 had six trades a dollar 77 profit probably going to have a nice trade in there somewhere too and uh, risk one profit of a dollar 30 we take a look and there we go duk 97 cents on the risk off and you can see she got into this trade right here and uh, got out at the 97 cents and uh, had you held it uh, she would have made uh, 94 cents just give up three cents by holding it and you can see that was the best trade in both categories that was uh, yesterday hammer today strength and you can see here that that hammer candle here and then it it, it took off today so uh, you know that is a uh, 
candle that it, it, it's good to watch sometimes when uh, the buyers bring it back up and you get that continuation the next day uh very very nice uh let's move on uh move these charts up here move on to holly neo 13 trades for a loss of a dollar 91 not too good there and uh, she, on the risk one, lost 78 cents. Well, let's see if there's anything in here worth looking at. We had Etsy, and that was the en engulfing candle. Uh, it was uh, what the strategy was, and she made 19 cents on it. But had you held it till the end of the day, you would have ended up losing 11 cents. And her best, best uh, risk on trade was GWRE, lost 17 cents for reduced risk. And then it did take off and uh, go the way she originally thought. It made $0.68 cents if you held it till the end of the day. Let's bring our Excel spreadsheet in here and take a look at some totals, see how that works out. And we had 30 trades for today, lost $0.39, cents, but on the risk-on mode, made $2.52. For the week, we're sitting at 155 trades, $0.37 cents profit. A dollar forty-one is the risk one profit. So we finally have uh, both numbers in the black again uh, for Holly. And I want to thank you for watching again and remind you to subscribe to our videos. Uh, there'll be a screen pop up. Uh, I have a video here where you can watch and learn all about some free stuff you can get and benefits from trade ideas. And if you go down to the YouTube notes, uh, you can find a discount code to save money if you'd be interested in purchasing the software, as well as links to the free stuff. God bless.